G'day viewers, welcome back. Well guess what, uh, I finally completed all the mechanical conversion of my TM20 LV milling machine. Um, as you've watched, this is uh, my previous videos, this is my third video on the conversion. I've converted the Z, which you've seen, converted the Y, and I've just finished the X just as we speak now. So I've put together this video which documents the entire process. I have to admit this was the hardest one, the, it was the x-axis to convert. Hope you enjoy it and uh, keep watching and you'll see the entire video process. Cheers. I'm currently making a, n a new nut to go on here. This is for the x-axis. Um, so the original nut sat in there like so. I think it was that way around. And my new nut to replace it made of aluminium, but it's to go around the ball screw there to encapsulate that round part of the ball screw. Uh, to do this, I've cut a big chunk of aluminium out of some bar stock that I had. Uh, you know, just go to your local scrap merchant and grab some of that stuff. It's usually cheap sitting on their shelf. They charge you, you know, a couple of bucks for it. And, of course, I don't have a mill at home to do this. I'm just doing this on my little lathe, my little uh, TL250V. So, as you can see, I'm using a four-jaw chuck, and I'm squaring it up in the four-jaw chuck. So, I'll just do another pass here to show you. I'll start him up. So I've squared the block up on all four corners here and uh, got it perfectly square. Um, I've marked my holes for where to bolt it down into the saddle. Um, you can see some scribe lines here. This is the way I've set it up in the four jaw chuck. So currently I've centre drilled that and I've, then I pilot hold it and then I'm running uh, roughing through a 13mm drill bit now. And uh, here we go. Close the safety cover. <laughs> The uh, lathe set up for milling at the moment. Um, as you can see, I've packed up the tool post. Uh, pretty rough, really, with an Allen key and feeler gauges and that sort of thing. I've put a 12 mil, a three flute end mill, in here in the uh, three jaw chuck, and hopefully I'm going to mill out this slot like I've done on the other slide on the other side here. Well, as you can see, I finished off the nut uh, here in my little lathe and uh, put it in. I did have to pack it about uh, 0.8 of a millimetre with a bit of a sheet with a bit of sheet metal just to lift that nut up a little bit. Um, here's the actual table, the X table. You can see that I've actually ground all this down with the grinder. Unfortunately, I couldn't grind it enough, so I'm going to take it to uh, my workplace tomorrow and actually mill that down a little bit more. I have decided though to reuse the end plates. Uh, especially one of the end plates for now. 
I might make a second new one later as time goes. Right, I've got the end cap here, the end plate in the four jaw chuck at the moment. And as you can see, I've just um, holding it just on the inside here. I've taken off that aluminium ring that goes around that the uh, dial indicator uh, measures off on. And as you can see, I've got it fairly true in the four jaw chuck. It's, um, you know, within spec. So I'm just going to bore that now with a boring bar. Just taking a really light cut. This is the actual uh, final cut for the bearing here. So I'm just taking it real, you know, very delicately, I'm nearly to size on the OD, and I, you know, I want to be careful here that the bearing doesn't fall in. I do it right. Okay, I'm currently making an end plate for my uh, milling machine table, and we're just cutting out the profile now.